I'm just going to do a quick overview of how the uh, shutdown circuit works on, um, sorry, the shutdown circuit board works on EV1 uh, for New Racing's 2019 car uh, for Formula SAE. Um, and yeah, uh, so I'll just do it from a visual inspection to start with. So essentially on the board, all there is is two plugs um, and then your eight corresponding LEDs as well as their current limiting resistors. Um, so it's a fairly simple board just to look at, uh, but it's arguably, arguably one of the most important on the car. Um, so I'm just going to walk through it step by step. So everyone has a, well, a pretty good understanding of how it works essentially. So I'll just turn this ray tracing off. Um, so to start with, you have your GLV plus, and this comes from your GLV MS switch. So that means that when the GLV MS is switched on, your power goes into this port, uh, sorry, this pin here. Um, so you've got your positive there and your ground there. Um, so the first step of this is it goes from the GLV plus to this pin up here, as you can see by this trace following it around. Um, so you've then got this column. So each, sorry, I'll start, each column correlates to a different check on the car. So whether it be, uh, so for this one here, for example, is the dash E stop. Um, it's not just the dash e-stop, this one, actually. It's the dash e-stop as well as the right-hand side e-stop and the inertia switch. So those three uh, components are all in, in series, uh, connecting, these, uh, connecting these two pins together. So that means that if any of these three, uh, any of these three components in this little circuit are disconnected, so whether it's uh, an e-stop e being pressed, so the right or dash e-stop being pressed, or the inertia switch being triggered, it means that there will not be any current flowing from this pin to this pin, uh, which disconnects the rest of the circuit. So we'll start by just looking at how, um, how one column works. So power is sent to this input pin, and then this input pin goes to all of these other different circuits. Um, sorry, all of these different components. So the dash E stop, the right hand side E stop, and the inertia switch E stop. Ah, uh, sorry, the inertia switch, and then it's returned back to this pin here. Um, which, if we look at the underside of the board, is this guy here. Uh, so when those are all in the OK state, it means that your 12 volts, which is on this pin here. So this guy up here, which correlates to this one here, your 12 volts is sent through to this pin here, uh, which then goes through to your um, your current limiting resistor, which then goes back up to your um, your dash E stop uh, LED indicator. So that means if everything in this column is working as it should be, this LED will be illuminated. Um, so this is a really helpful diagnostics tool uh, for seeing exactly where there's a break in the shutdown circuit. Um, so if, for example, uh, a right hand, like one of the wheel interlocks, so one of these guys over here was playing up, um, and for some reason there was a disconnection in the shutdown circuit over here, um, you could quickly look at this board and see exactly where there was a break in the circuit and then go and narrow down um, what the issue is. Uh, the issue with this, so the problem with this design, however, is... Um, that say there's a break in the circuit here, so say the bots has been triggered. If you also have, uh, for example, a right-hand side wheel interlock um, issue, so if you have two issues um, in different columns, it means that you're not going to be able to see both of these triggered at the same time. So this isn't really too much of an issue because you should just be tackling them one at a time anyway. But um, it's just something to keep in mind that you may not have only one problem causing the issue. You may have a few of them causing an issue um, because once this is broken, there's obviously no signal being sent to these guys up here and no way to check. Um, so these will never be illuminated once one of the LEDs to the left of them is broken. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, and if you did want to re uh, redesign it for EV2 or further down, the, further down the track, you could use a lot of AND gates um, so each of these goes to an AND gate and then sends its signal to an overall uh, MOSFET switch, which sends, uh, then sends your 12 volt signal back out. Um, but again, that's just a bit of an, uh, a bit of a neater implementation of this system. It's not really required, um, but just something to keep in mind. So then once, uh, once these two, sorry, once the two pins are connected, it goes through to the next one and then up and follows this trajectory through um, 
through the circuit. And then once this one is finalized, so once you've got uh, current flowing through the entire system, um, this row here will then be connected back and up to these two pins here, where one of these pins goes to the pre-charge discharge circuit and the other one goes to the ready to drive board um, to power the ready to drive board. Uh, and it also goes to the data logging um, board as well. So that's a very generalized uh, overview of how this shutdown circuit works, shutdown circuit board works, um, as well as how it's a really good tool for diagnostics and whatnot. Uh, yeah.